Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and I'm excited to be here today. I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite techniques called spotlight die cutting. I'll be sharing lots of examples and variations for this technique today, so let's get started. I have a variety of large word dies here and you can do this technique with alphabet dies too. So to begin, I'm going to create some backgrounds first. I'll be using this leaf stamp from the Altenew Wallpaper Art Stamp Set. And I'm just gonna put this in my Misty with some repositionable adhesive. I thought this technique would be easier to create kind of a jig for my paper so that I could just put the leaf on the paper, stamp that, and then turn the jig and stamp it on the other side of the paper. I'll show you what I mean. So for the first one, I'm just going to be stamping with some Versamark, which is a sticky ink, and allows me to put this clear embossing powder over the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and heat set that. Now I'm gonna turn the entire jig around the opposite direction, and I will stamp the leaf on that side. Now I'm gonna continue in this manner going around the entire panel until I have it covered with leaves. And now I'm going to take three different colors of Distress Oxide inks and just blend that onto the paper real quick, real simple, and I'll keep going over and over that again until I get a good blend between those colors. So this is our first background, a really simple emboss technique, and I just like to go over it with a clean cloth here to wipe off any of that excess ink that might be on that clear embossing powder. For my next background, I will just take this rose, mega rose stencil from Altenew, and I'm going to ink this up with a real simple technique using some blending brushes. I'm gonna be using Distress Ink for this one because I had it in the colors that I wanted, and we'll just use a picked raspberry, and then I'll go over that with some worn lipstick to add some shading and some highlights. So these are really simple backgrounds to create just so that we can get to the die cutting portion. And I wanted to mention here that if you are looking for some techniques and some amazing ideas for your card making or your creating, you might wanna look into Justine's Technique Binder class. I am taking it and it is fantastic. It's a year long class, it just started in July, but you can take it at your own pace. And she goes through all kinds of techniques, so at the end you'll have a binder full of ideas of what you can use for your cards. This one here is another background. I'm just creating some stripes with some post-it tape, and then I'm inking on some Distress Oxides in a variety of colors. Now. Here you see three stripes. I ended up doing another stripe as well to finish that off. So now we're ready to get into this beautiful die cut technique called spotlight die cutting. Some people call it dimensional die cutting, dimensional inlay die cutting. It's got a few different names. So I am just gonna take this large hello die and run it through my Gemini Junior here. I want to tell you to please keep all those little pieces that go inside the letters, because what we're going to do is we're going to place those back inside the letters on the card base. Now I'm using some liquid adhesive. This is the Nouveau Liquid Adhesive Deluxe that I really like right now. And I'm going to be placing this onto the card and be sure to get around all the little areas of the letters so that those stick down as well. And the easiest way I found to place back in those pieces is to put temporarily put that die cut word onto the card front and then put, add a little glue in those spaces and add the pieces that belong back inside. And this makes it just quick and simple so that you get them in the right space. You don't have to guess exactly where they go and that way everything will fit back together perfectly when we pop this up onto the card front. So I'm just putting the last piece in here. I'm gonna take out the word carefully <laughs> without ripping. And now you'll see that I have six colorful die cut pieces of this same word die, and I'm gonna build those up one on top of each other so that it creates more of a dimensional piece. And I'll add that final piece right on top. This is what we're gonna to use to pop up onto the card. I cheated to the right a little with this word die because I wanted to put these flowers on the side here. I colored these up previously, 
And then I had to cut off the end of that little O so that it would all fit on one card. There is kind of a rainbow of colors behind that hello with those colored pieces we put behind it. This is another card I made with the same idea, but I just stamped it in a green ink and I used some black fun foam for the back of that hello. And for these flowers, I just wanted to show you that I cut out a smaller piece of the flower from the same set that I used the leaves, it's the wallpaper art, and I cut that out so that they would fit and be a little smaller for my card front. So for this second one, I'm going to be using this thanks die and then the for everything stamp. I'll do it the same way. I'll place this right on top of that background we created, run it through the Gemini Junior, remove that and save all those inside pieces of the letters. We're gonna do this exactly the same way that we did the last one. I think that this technique creates kind of a fun pop so that you have a dimensional die cut word but you still see the entire background. So it's just so beautiful. I'm gonna place this on being sure to go around all of those letters with the liquid adhesive and then I'll put back in all of those inside pieces as well. For this one I cut some black fun foam using my manual die cutting machine because I found it doesn't squish the fun foam as much as the Gemini does. And then I'm going to offset the letters just a little bit on that fun foam so that some of that black shows through and you get kind of a shadow effect for this one. This is just such a fun way to add this word and make sure that it pops. See that black behind there? For this word sentiment, I just stamped it in black, cut it out into a sentiment, and I'll attach that with some liquid adhesive. You could pop this up as well, but I thought it fit just nicely right there. And to finish off this card, some simple black sequins in various spots on the card. I love how you can still see that rose die or the rose stencil behind this whole thanks die. All right, on to the next one. Now, I wanted to show you that you don't have to do your own backgrounds if you don't want to. There are so many beautiful pattern papers out there. For this one, I use this pattern paper and cut out the happy and I'm going to use some pink fun foam this time on this one so that that happy really pops and it matches some of that hot pink on the background. I'm doing the exact same technique, gluing in the, the bits from the middle of the letters so that it looks like one continuous piece, but the happy is popped up with a little bit of pink. I did stamp a label greeting here that also says happy birthday, and I'm gonna put some 3M foam tape on the pieces that go between the letters and I'll glue down the rest of that so that it just pops up perfectly. To finish it off, I'm using these glitter drops by Nuvo in three different colors. This is the Sherbert Shimmer Glitter Drops, and the yellow is the Yellow Bird. And then to finish off, we'll use some Summer Sunrise Glitter Drops, and it's just that easy to finish a card. This one came together so quick and so simple. Just as simple as that one was, we're gonna make this one a little more, <laughs> well, you know I can't resist. I have to add a little bit of glitter. So this is some glitter tape. I have already die cut some beautiful hibiscus 3D florals here and some other florals and leaves. And we're gonna make this one kind of a star today <laughs> by adding all these extras. This one did take me a little bit longer to put together, as you can imagine. And once I had that done, I decided that it needed the glitter in between those letters as well. So I die cut that same glitter tape with the word die so that I'd get those middle pieces to place right inside the letters. And I think this one really pops. This is the striped one background that we created earlier. Isn't it pretty? So you can go as simple or as fancy as you want. Now for this one, I colored up this beautiful Japanese peony earlier, and I'm just going to ink the background with a little bit of this peacock feathers, making the corners just a little bit darker. I just wanted to give it just a little shade of color. And now I'm going to take this thanks die. This is where I used to cringe, because how could you die cut over that beautiful image that you spent so much time coloring, right? <laughs> 
but I really think it does make a beautiful card and adds a lot more interest when you give this a try. It did take me a while to get to this point where I could finally die cut something that I had spent so long coloring. So I am adding some black fun foam and then I'll add those letters just right over the top. And I finished it off with some Nouveau drops in black. Now this one's kind of fun because I die cut it's two layers, so I did the same exact thing, die cut it, and inserted those pieces back in between the letters so it looks like a continuous piece, but then you have that gray in between. And it would even be fun to die cut a number of those layered pieces so that it pops up even more. I did the same with this hello, only the in between, I used a patterned paper. And I always save these frames from when I cut out panels for my cards. I save these frames because just in case you need a little extra pop and I thought this card needed a little extra pop so I'm adding a couple of those frames that I have left over and of course a few of these cute little fish critters from paper smooches these are just such fun cards I'm gonna give you some close-ups here uh, let's take a look at everything that we created I hope I inspired you to try the spotlight die cutting technique it is really a lot of fun and adds some boldness to your cards. Your recipients will love these as well. I always get so many compliments on these types of cards when I create them. There's those glitter drops. They dry beautifully. I love the way they look on that patterned paper. Here's our sparkly hope card. My idea behind that card was I hope I get to go to Hawaii again <laughs> or I hope I get to plant some hibiscus in my backyard. I used to have a lot of hibiscus these are all the cards we created today there's that pattern paper you can see behind the hello there it looks so pretty and here is the embossed resist we created the stencil background with some black sequins the pattern paper which i just love for an easy card that extra glitter on the hope the colored beautiful large flower and here's a look back at all of these cards Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. I'd love it if you'd stop by and check out my blog and YouTube channel and let me know which one of these cards is your favorite. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.